Well, hello Nuggets. Um, you may be here from the last video when I talked about all the things that um, I needed help for. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to talk about makeup in this one, but the fact is that I do have mental health problems and I needed help with my mental health. And I am not shy about it. I talk about it in that video. So if you, you know, want to check that out, feel free to. If you're just here for the makeup, then just, hey, this one's all about makeup. Um, because yeah, I had great, awesome funds today, and I, I was under budget, even on top of that. But, as I ended off, the other one, I'm going to start this one off with, um, a very good shout out to Tarte Cosmetics with their 4-in-1 Rainforest of the Sea setting mist. So, this has been holding my makeup together. I did, um, my makeup up about, like, four, five hours ago. Went out and did all my shopping, did all my panicking, it came back, and I'm still, you know, thinking it's okay. I mean, I could be wrong once I watch it all over again but I don't think so so this is my small one I do have a bigger size one back here as long as uh, as well as this cute little you know pineapple shaped eyelash curler um so thank you very much Tarte for that that was um I did buy this one myself and um, was an issue with it I contacted the customer service and they um helped me out with that so thank you thank you Tarte that was very nice of you um, but, I mean, I have a haul. This is just great. Um, the entire thing of everything I bought today, and I have a little bit of Shoppers Drug Mart and, and some Winter stuff mixed together. So there's Drugstore and there's Winners mixed together at $40. $40. So we have to get into this because it's amazing. The first thing that I'm going to mention is kind of like an empties, and I do have a bunch of empties, so if you guys want to see an empties video, um, let me know, let me know in the comments. But this is this, I mean, you can, the bottle's all messed up, I just bought a second one. Now, it's this awesome Vaseline 10 times repair, and I'm just mentioning this to save you money, alright? I'm on a budget, I'm sure some of you, you're all on a budget, nobody's rich. But if you buy it in stores, because it is now available, you know, in stores, it's um, usually $8, but sometimes on sale for $6.99. But if you want to get it at Dollarama, it's only 4 So get it at Dollarama. It's 4 bucks, and this stuff is amazing. It doesn't leave any kind of, like, it does. It just feels great, and it really, really, I mean, it heals my hands, can I say. But my day today... The next thing I got today actually had the price tag on it just to show you that I really did pay $3 for it. So it's a number 7 like exfoliator and now number 7, that's a pretty, yeah, that's good. But I did look at all of the ingredients and nothing in there is there's nothing that I'm allergic to because I do have very sensitive skin. But I'm just these days like after I remove my makeup, I wash my face with like a bar of Dove soap. Seriously, I do. And um, for all those people out there... I'm going to be 37. Yeah. I mean, I still see me as me, whatever. I also think I'm 25. But apparently I look my age either. So, dove soap, people. Just bar soap. Two bucks. <laughs> Serious. But, the other stuff that I got today. So, quickly touch on Joe Fresh because it was $2. So, I got two of these ones. So, this one is a cream lipstick. And this one is, it says Clair. So, I'm assuming maybe Joe Fresh might be a Quebec company because they're all like written in French. Or maybe they're just trying to be posh or something. I don't know. But I've talked about Joe Fresh a bunch before and um, they know who I am. They've reached out to me and that's okay. Um, but this is not sponsored. I bought all this for my money. But I mean, I do have a Joe Fresh Clair, Clair, know, Clair one that I love all the time, all right? I've, I've worn most of it down. Now this one's a purple-ish color. The color for it is called mauve. So it does leave a little bit of a tint of a color. A small purplish color, but it, it's a nice, kind of like a, a lip gloss, but like not tacky or anything like that. And I do have another one here. This one's like pink, um, but it gives no color. It just gives you like a nice little shine. See that? Okay, so I guess there's a little bit of a color, but on your lips, it's just kind of like a lip shine. <clears throat> is that a thing? 
a lip shine because it's not really like a gloss but it's just a shine and it looks really good so these were on sale for two dollars each so for two dollars i'm going to pick up another one in the clear so i have not swatched this yet i'll swatch it with you guys so this one has the clear on it and if you can hear the sirens in the background you'll understand the first part why it was so dramatic okay so let's swatch this to see if it has the same shiny oh it does so let's see so all right can you see so that's the pink one that i had before this is this new clear one so it's got a very nice nude color but it is also very shiny which i'm very happy about now i've never tried any of their cream lipsticks so i do have cream lipstick in nude hey you know i'm into nudes these days i used to be all about like bright colored lips these days not so much so swatch this one it's really nice and creamy very hydrating and that is the color that it has um that's a really pretty color like you can barely kind of see it which would probably end up being the color of my lips so now i have four of them <laughs> they're a very hydrating obviously i mean i i would have rebought it if it was like the full price but they're on sale for two so why the heck not but speaking of joe fresh i do have to say a few things all right i'm back uh i decided to put you know my makeup devil horns on because i was in that drawer getting a makeup wipe to take the swatches off and i was like well that's makeup, you know. That's not have cat ears like everybody else. Um, and I do have a little bit of like the Joe Fresh, the purple one that I love so much in move um, on my lips. Now I do have really dry lips. I have very dry skin because my kidney function. We know. I mean, I've seen the specialist. My kidney function now is at fifty-seven percent, and that's where it's staying. Uh, it's permanent damage. It stays there. Can't really do much about it um it's being monitored in case it ever dips any lower if it gets lower then we're gonna intervene but for now deal with it drink a lot of water and i have very dry skin so there will be something about that later um i, I am um involved with a company that has really great products but i really want to test them out first before i bring them all to you so there'll be something about that later but i do want to mention a few things about the joe fresh cosmetics so Joe Fresh Cosmetics sells this brush cleaner. So this thing, so, so this is the size of the Joe Fresh one. And just for an example, this is like the mini elf, like the elf. So just like a shout out to the Joe Fresh brush cleaner. Like it's up there, like worth the four bucks. And the last thing about Joe Fresh, I'm sad. They don't make this anymore. It's one of my favorite highlighters. So it's in champagne. I mean, if you look at it, like I've dug in there. I tried to find the link for it the other day to talk about it, and I just want to know if you can, like, actually see how much I've actually, like, dug into that. Like, how much? I mean, I've used it, and I bought this November, maybe? I'd say. Yeah, probably November, October, November. Um, yeah. October. October. Buy this in October, right? Um, it's just the prettiest color. Like, this is popping color like you can see from my lights like it doesn't really have a color like it's a champagne color but um I don't think this would work very well on darker skin tones I mean, maybe I'm still learning about skin tones and warm tones and dark tones or whatever but they don't make it anymore and that sucks for you Joe Fresh because a lot of people would have bought this it, it, it's awesome but I, I went into to Too Faced I said later because I just want to mention the drugstore first. So I did get um the Essence Lashes Boost Me. Now this was like $4. Uh, yeah, Essence has great products. They're drugstore, they're affordable. And in my case, I have very long eyelashes just naturally. They're just blonde. So I really just need something to color them. If I can find something that will color my lashes from like an you know, over to tip all the way through. I got lashes for days. Um, so, I mean, I always go for, like, anything volumizing because I already have the length. Okay, I'm lucky I already have the length. I, I've been told I'm lucky. I actually have, like, three rows of eyelashes. I sometimes have to pluck them out because I'm in the wrong spot. Apparently, that's a good thing. I don't know. Anyway, the other thing from Essence that I picked up on purpose, it was $3. $2.99. Is this Make Me Brow. So, this is what I use for, like, my brow gel. So, I do color in my brows. Um, because I have, like... I have some, like this part, I actually have some, but this, the tail end, there's almost nothing there. It's all colored in. It has a nice little, you know, spoolie. 
see if you can pick that up. But there's like little fibers in it as well, which I love. Um, this is the darkest color that it comes in, which is fine. Works great for me. And those little teeny mini fibers, they, they do help a little bit with a little bit of volume. But this is a gel. Um, it's not going to like, you know, hold it there. You know, it, it's movable. You know, it's not um, stuck permanently that way. It's easy to wash off, but it's $2.99. I mean, I'm happy. The one that I had before, I don't even think it's run out yet. I just bought another one just in case because I can't see it. But so far, there's still stuff in it, and I've had it for like two, three months. So um, this one has a, a span of, uh, I don't know, six months. Six months, so. Okay, cool. So are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for the exciting stuff? Um, yeah, all of this was like... $31 at Winners for all of this. And there is something special in here for one of my friends. Um, her name is Jessie, and she is amazing. Um, I don't know how to explain her other than um, this amazing burst of energy that, that's always, you know, there. And um, she's in love with, you know, Too Faced products. And she's going through a rough time right now, you know, whatever, personal life. But, you know, she just she wants them. So there's one of them that's a gift. So first I found this Too Faced Candlelight, you know, highlighter. And I was like, there's only one, you know, because I share my pictures from my winner's finds on Instagram. And there's only one. And I was like, mm, I'm, I'm going to, I was like, mm, but there's one and I want it. So here it is. I'm going to swatch that one. So there's like two sides to it because it comes with a little book by the way to tell you like evening glow night glow I don't know look at that I looked at it quickly I don't know that's not how I use it inner light light of day and night light you you use them differently apparently I don't know I, I just use highlighter like it's going on the style and I have like a drawer and a half of it over there um so there's like two sides there's two sides to it, like there's two sides to every story. So we're gonna go with a lighter color here and then the darker color there, which I probably will mix together. So this is the color. It is um, the Too Faced Candlelight Glow Highlighter. And uh, so we'll switch, no, this way they're gonna be the same way. So the lighter colors over here and the darker colors over there. That is gorgeous, that's beautiful. So. I was feeling a little guilty because, you know, I really wanted this for myself, but I do know that my friend, she, she wants it, and this was $12, by the way. And then, there's a little aisle that you gotta snake through to get to the cash, and then I found the mini one. So, Jessie, sweetheart, this is for you and only you. I purposely bought this just for you. Um, I can open it. <laughs> okay, I can. So, it does have a little bit of a different shade to it. It is the candlelight glow, however, but this is the rosy glow. Um, mine, so, yeah, mine. The bigger one is the warm glow. Apparently there's a different. For a closer look, right? Can you see them? I'm gonna focus on them. And, um, the swatches are, are over here. So, this dark color is actually, I need to hold it like this. So, that one is this, and then the other side is that side. These other two are the warm ones. So, all in all, these Too Faced highlighters, they're killing it. They're killing it. And, um, yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. It just, we have a group chat, you know, and our little group of friends. And, um, Jessie, who is getting that highlighter, just saw my pictures of it and is very happy. Um, the other ones, Beach Cosmetics was on sale. $9.99 for Royals Affair, but the one that I flipped out for was the Shannon with the remix. So, Shannon, I love you. I love her. I, I, I'll link her channel below. I think she's great. My favorite video of all time from her was when she was trying the Wish Kitchen Gadgets and she got to the Slap Shop and she just loved it. She just kept going to town and hers was actually really good, easy to take apart. So, I will probably link that particular video um, below as well because it was just funny. But I mean, now BH Cosmetics is affordable. It's like drugstore, I guess. I don't know. We don't have Ulta or anything around here, so 
you know, the only place we can get these kind of brands is either online or at Winners. Um, but why I'm so excited about the Shannon remix is one, I love her as a YouTuber, but two, I mean, I've seen pictures of this everywhere. So, and, um, again, the staff at the winners here in my, they, they all know me and they're all the time. Um, I'm kind of like, I'm hoping that I'm like an honorary member or something. Um, all of them ask me questions about the product while I'm there as well. So there's this side. So this, and I can't lose my papers, right? So there's all these bright colors, you know pop of colors but the beauty about this one is <laughs> there is another side and then there's some shimmers and some nude chains and some transition shades there you go I got it so there's actually two palettes one on this side and one on that side there's two and one and the colors are gorgeous because I have seen people review this, I have seen people wear this, and I mean, I just really like Shannon because one, she's really pretty, two, she's funny, she is so funny, um, and I just like her channel, so, you know, that's just my thing, but I'm excited about this, and it was $7.99, so, I'm sorry, Shannon, if you're, um, you know, I bought it at a lower price, but I, I couldn't afford, you know, I do believe, though, the regular price for this was, um, 24 or something, so I... BH Cosmetics, that was in an affordable place. The second one that I picked up um, was a Royal Affair. Now these colors are going to look kind of, they're kind of like all over the place, but it also happens that they're colors that I don't have in my collection, okay? I have a lot, a lot back there. So now, I mean, unless it's, um, uh, no, not even, not, not even anymore. I, I really don't care about brand names. I sort of, but not really. Um, it has to have the colors that I want, basically, because I pretty much have everything. But these were colors that I didn't have. Like, this green, like this mustard yellow green, and then there's like this army green here. This, this pink color up here I don't have in my collection. Um, so I really love how, and then there's like this, um, glimmer, and it's just a silver glimmer. I don't, or shimmer, shimmer, it's a shimmer. I'm going to swatch a few of these colors. I'm going to start with a couple colors from the Royals of Fairy palette. Mostly like, you know, this monarch green. It's like an army green. I don't have that one. Oh, it's nice and creamy. Really pretty. Um, and then it's called Crown. So it's like a mustard green uh, yellow. Oh, that comes out great as well. Um, let's see. What else did I mention? Um, High Tea is the name of it. And it's... Uh, Glimmer or a shimmer, a shimmer. I keep forgetting. Nothing. Ooh, it's a nice silver shimmer. And then uh, the lady, this uh, rose color up here. So, oh, those are beautiful, beautiful. So the colors are here, and then they come out like this. Like that is that monarch color there, and then this here is that. Wow, that really comes out. Like I didn't. Try really hard, there's not a lot of, I didn't, look at that sh shimmer, shimmer, that shimmer right there. Look at that. And then the pink, ooh, wow. Super happy, super, I'm like even more happy than I was just by like looking at it now that I've swatched them to see how they, they work. All right, so let's swatch a little bit of Shannon's palette, all right? So we're going to start off with like the matte shades. Now this, this Barbie pink is calling my name, so uh yeah, they have like really pretty names too. So, um, let's do these four, three, and then that one. So, these four. So, sorry, I lied. I did five of them. <laughs> so, here's the colors. So, all the way over there is that bright pink color here. And then right in the middle is this purple. It, it, do you can see it there? It's not quite pigmented. Then I have this color uh, next. That one doesn't really come up much as a color, um, but it's probably going to work great as a transition shade, obviously. And then I have this one here right on the outer side. Now that one is gorgeous. And then I decided to swatch this one here because this is a shimmer up there. And that one's at the top of my hand. So there's the shimmer. I just need to turn my hand the, the right way so it's up there. Um, that's, that's gorgeous. So this shimmer up here would be like a great like brow highlight so now let's go over to the other 
the side. All right, so we're losing some light. Let's get there. But I swatched this side, and um, whew, I really hope the camera can pick up the iridescence in them because they are beyond gorgeous. Like I was super excited for like the bright colors over here, and now that I've swatched these, these are like whoa. So first, I have um, this color right here on, on my hand. This one has a beautiful iridescence, and I, I hope that you can see it. It's the second one. So it's the second one, so it would be like this line right there. It's this color. So it, it has like they're all iridescent, so they kinda all like come up and maybe my swatches are too close, but this color is, you know, on that end. So this color is kind of in the middle of my hand. And then I have um this one up here. And then I have this one here on on the top of everything. See if you can see it right there. See, like how my wrist is shiny, but it's kind of like no color. These are just gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, so yes. Well, this is where I'm gonna leave you with this. Um, you know, these are the few of the things. Uh, few of my favorite things, I guess. Yeah. So these are some of the things from Winners. There's some drugstore stuff. I look funny. It's okay. Bye. It's me. And um, like the meme just said, it is about four to five, six days later. So I did go back to Winter's Marshalls to pick up a few extra things because of one thing. I hit the Physician Formula jackpot at Marshalls, and let me explain why. And this product is why I went back. So this is MAC. I know. It's not cruelty free. I know. I'm sorry. Um, but it is the mineralized foundation, so it's like this cream. Obviously, I've used it all up. And I have, you know, things because I'm going to show you the haul of that. It won't take very long. There's nothing to swatch or anything like that. I'm just going to show you a few things because they're great prices. But I've been looking for some kind of, you know, cream foundation like this. I actually started with the e.l.f. product first. They don't make that in any color that I can wear now, so great for all the dark skin girls. Finally get something. But I've been looking for another one like this to the point that I actually did go to the Mac store the other day. I was in the mall real quick with a friend of mine and we stopped by to see if I could pick up another one because I can't seem to find them anywhere. Guess what? I found some. This is what I found. So it's actually a BB cream with Physician's Formula, which is, you know, even better because it kind of corrects and covers and stuff like that. So it is the BB cream and it is in like light which is great for me uh, but it was seven dollars like even if this were to be like full of price it would be like 20 and I don't know I'm in Canada by the way but I don't know if it's being discontinued or not I hope not but probably every time I like something it gets discontinued but this is you know what I like and I always use it with like a really dense sponge and then you know all over my face and it just Helps me skip like a bazillion steps, you know, just cover and it's creamy. So I do do cream contour, so it's just easy to blend everything together. It just makes my makeup routine short by like so much. Plus, I just love the easiness of the coverage. It just doesn't take very long and it doesn't look cake face. I don't like right now. I have a lot of stuff on because I knew I was doing a video and the sun's kind of coming in, so the lights be a little bit, Ooh, but we'll deal with that. It's all right, so I went back just to get this, and then I hit the jackpot with a lot of things. So I'm gonna show them to you. It's all right there. It's all behind me. Like I don't know why I'm pretending like it's gonna be a surprise. You can kind of see it. Um, so let's get this started, okay? Because it doesn't take very long, and I don't wanna drag this up because it's been a while already. But I did pick up this CC cream instead of the BB cream because it was a dollar cheaper. Pretty much the reason why. So by the time I'm done this one, I'll be into this one because I just wanted a backup. Because I, I have a hard time finding this product, so you know, let's get backups when they're there. It's a tad, tad bit darker, which is fine again, because I am determined that I'm going to be going outside this summer. So I might actually tan. I'm gonna tan. Go. The outside world scares the crap out of me, but I'm going, I'm doing it. Let's just get this over with and address the elephant in the room, which is, you know, my crazy lip color. Because it's my guilty pleasure, and I'm so obsessed with these um, Vice Urban Decay Special Effects. 
lip toppers. You know I all love glitter, okay? But there are glitter lip toppers and they dry down. Like, they don't transfer. They dry down waterproof. It's great. Um, the one that I picked up, you know, is uh, Ritual, which is the one I'm wearing today, which is this one. But I have a little guilty obsession because I, I have three more. I love, love these. I can't say, I mean, I just do. What else do you want me to say? I mean, these are the colors. Some of them are like dual chrome. These two are mostly you know, my favorite. But can I say? I like them and um, I buy them all super on sale, you know. And when I say sale, I mean like when it was the Marshall sale, sales price. Because their price is like from the box is $12.99. I ain't paying that, right? I wait till they were going down to like four or three. And then I, I got a bunch. And of course, the other elephant in the room is not an elephant, but it's a bunny. It's this cute thing. Um, I've seen Emily Noel wear one of these in her videos. And I want something different. Everybody has cat ears. I want something different. Plus, it really holds my hair back, which is great. And it's called the Snug and Cozy Cosmetic Headband. So this is the brand. And it was $5.99. $5.99. I don't know what it is originally. But $5.99 is definitely something that I can do. Mostly because it's... it's like towel material and it, it's cute and it has ears but it holds my hair out of my face not just for like makeup but even let's say like when I get out of the shower and if I just let this dry on its own it's got beautiful curls to it so if I just want to keep it on my face I can just throw this on and it's washable I can put it in the washing machine and wash it I like the fact that I can wash that speaking of washing things so I did pick up these little erase your face you know finger things so they're like this there there's four of them uh, I did wash them first so if you're new here again hello if you're not you've obviously heard me talk about Taylor before we do have like a Facebook group of all our burritos together and and one of like the very active members in there she had a very bad reaction to um, the other like the towelette of this and I'm wondering if she washed it first or not because it says the first thing on the back to wash them in the washing machine. But they're also supposed to just, you know, be used to take your, your eye makeup off without any product. I'm not too, too sure about that. I mean, I do plan on using my cellar water, which I picked some up of. See, I got some more. I needed more, and it was $7.99. It's this pretty big bottle. You know, I wait for it to get on sale. I mean, exactly. I live on a budget, just like everybody else. This one happens to have vitamin C. If you have a moisturizer or a treatment for your face that has vitamin C in it, be really, really careful when you go out into the sun because it does make your skin very susceptible to burning and stuff like that. But it's winter time right now, and um, it's just my cellar water. I'm going to wash it off again. But it was $7.99 for all this. And then again, these little, you know, Daniel Creations Erase Your Face stuff. I like the fact that I can wash them again. So... That's less, you know, cotton pads that I have to use every day and throw out. The less I can put into the garbage, the best, you know. I can reuse this. Plus, it saves me money if I just wash them instead of buying stuff. So, these were $5.99. This micellar water over here was $7.99. So, great. Speaking of Taylor and us at Burritos, um, Taylor always talks about this Old Spice deodorant in amber. Again, every time I like something, I get discontinued. And this is great, because again, the men's formula is usually a little bit stronger, because men usually tend to sweat more than women do. But it's just the smell. The smell of it isn't like a manly smell. Like, it's called amber, but if you actually like read the thing, it says, um, it's with black currant. Currant? Currant? I don't know. Some kind of berry. So it really smells berry-like. It doesn't smell like a manly smell. But... They are now discontinuing it, so if you can find it, pick it up. I mean, it's great. It's only like seven ninety nine. It's not a very expensive brand, but it works really well. It doesn't make you smell, you know, any like a man or whatever. And I've seen the commercials online though that they do have an Old Spice in lavender because I think they've caught on that some women like to wear men's deodorant and that there are some men out there that don't need to smell like they just came back from. You know, chucking 10 things of wood. Before we move any further, I just want to say that on my eyes today, I am wearing the Shano and um, the Royal Affairs palette. So quickly, quickly the colors I am wearing is this one and the, these two right there. 
And then I went into the world of fairies and I did not realize that it blew me away. So I do have this blue color here um, on you know my eyes with a little pop of this beautiful shimmer that I did swatch. But this blue one here is actually very duochrome. All right, let's just quickly look at it, okay? Um, can you see that? Look at that beautiful, like there's a duochrome in there. I had no idea. Because if you're just looking at it in the palette, like this, I thought it was just going to be like a matte baby blue. Heck no, it blew me away. And then that glimmer or shimmer that I swatched over here, um, high T is what I got like on the inner corners. So, yeah, I put things away as we go along because that's just me, all right? Um, I needed more dry shampoo. Collab was there again. Tati talks so much about this brand. I think... It's an American brand, or it's a Sally's brand. I think it's a Sally's brand. Either way, she loves this brand, and I needed more dry shampoo because, again, this hair, I mean, what else can I say about this hair? Uh, I don't have a lot of it. There's just, like, this part here, but it's super curly and really pretty and when it wants to be. But I have psoriasis on my scalp, so rostering my hair, like, every single day isn't really an option. The rest of my body every day, for sure, but, you know, so dry shampoo was great. It happened to be five bucks, so... Speaking of can't go wrong, I picked up an extra um, NYX Shine Killer Primer. Again, I don't know why they're in, in Winners or Marshalls, because they're not expired. I, I checked the batch code and all kind of whatnot. You can buy this. Like, it's for sale at the present moment at, you know, drugstores across wherever for like $16.99 or $18.99 if you're in Canada. So $18.99 in Canada or $6.99 at Winners. So yeah, I got an extra one. I still have the one that I bought a few months ago. Not even a few months ago. Over the Christmas time. I don't know. It was there. I like it. So I picked up another one because I do find this to be a really good dupe for the Smashbox. Smashbox primers, for whatever reason, break me out. This doesn't. So again, it was $6.99. Just let's stock up while we can. And stock me up, I stocked up on something else as well. $5 at um, Winners. So I did pick up another one to stock up on because they're $5. This is $5 at Winners and Marshalls. And if you want to buy it online, it's something like $18 American. So five. One of the last things that I did pick up was this repair serum for like your feet. Um, I do have really dry skin like everywhere. Again, my kidney functions at 57% and that's where it's going to stay. Hopefully it doesn't get any worse, but it's never going to get any better. So, you know, hydrating, drinking a lot of water is obviously a big thing, but my skin's super dry. And this is, like, for your feet. And again, I'm determined that I'm going to be going out this summer, so I need to have, you know, feet. Plus, it was three bucks. And we are at the last item. So, last items are some beauty blenders that I picked up. So, I did not necessarily need them right now, but... These are things that I've been kind of looking for for certain reasons, and since they were there, I had extra money, because, you know, this is some income tax money that I'm spending, by the way. Um, you know, I'm still looking for a job. That job that I was waiting for didn't happen. And that really bums me out, because I don't pass standardized personality tests, mostly because I have high-functioning autism. And those personality tests are there to try to see if you're lying or not. And I sound like I'm lying, you know, because I do show up on time every day. I do think that, you know, being late for your break is a bad thing. So I always score as untruthful because I answer too many truthful answers. And that has, you know, cost me so many opportunities and jobs in this world as well. And I'm just really bummed out. We'll talk about that another time, about how I actually can't afford to stay healthy without a part-time job. But, you know, and I know a lot of people saying, like, don't spend all of this money, you know, if, but my income tax money, whether I would keep it aside and try to live off that as my extra without having a part-time job isn't enough anyway. And um, the sad truth is, if I don't get a part-time job, I will eventually die because I can't eat my healthy diet, my internal organs are going to fail again. 
So I'm buying makeup to make myself happy. At least I'll die pretty. I mean, at this point, what else can I say? The government don't care. So, so why did I get these particular two beauty blenders? Well, the first one is here. I mean, it's a rainbow. Why not pick up a rainbow? Um, yes. But I just talked to you about how I just got that nice, you know, cream compact foundation and I like to use like a very dense beauty blender for that so this is my last dense beauty blender I bought a pack of three like a year and a half ago and this is the last one so I needed to get another dense one it is from uh, La Creme Cosmetics which is not that bad and then the other one that I picked up is from Danielle's Creations and it's kind of like you know it's got the velour thing this part doesn't have velour part it's a little bit different but I do love um, the velvet sponge from the like, Juni Co. I do really, really like it. It's dirty right now, obviously, because I've used it. They clean very easy. Um, an old used bar of soap is just perfectly fine. Don't go buying that. Don't go buying that, you know, Beauty Blender solid cleaner thing. Just go get an old, you know, bar of soap and just scrub it on there. Why not give it a try? Again, $20-some dollars versus $5.99. At this point, I'm going to make the $5.99 work. And who knows, I've had beauty blenders from Danielle's Creations before and I loved them. So maybe I like this one better, I don't know. But either way, I saved money. And that was the whole point of this second part of me adding this little teeny weeny bit to like the haul from the other day. I went back just looking for like the compact cream foundation, found a bunch of other things and I was like, well, let's just stock up because the price is right. Let's just do that now because I'm eventually going to need these things anyway. Now that I have extra funds and they're on sale, let's go for it. Except for my glitter, but you know, I can't put glitter down. I can't walk away from glitter. All right, so that's it. I've blabbed on enough, considering that there's a whole other part before this part. So I just want to thank every one of you. If you're coming back, thank you. If you're new, you know, hey, thanks. You can subscribe if you want. If you don't want to, don't worry about it. There, again, there's an Instagram page. If you want to see more like winners finds, I do go to winners very often and Marshalls very often. So I do post, you know, I don't buy everything that I post. I just post when there's, you know, good prices about things out there, you know. Um, you can check out that on my Instagram. It is linked. I'll link it below as well. Check that out. You don't have to subscribe. You can just check in every once in a while or not do it at all. Don't hurt me none. Same thing for the Facebook page or whatever. You want to check it out, go for it. If you don't, whatever. Not a big deal. Again, I'm not here to make money. I know I just said I'm talking about the fact that I need a part-time job. But, I mean, this is great if you can make money. But the ones who do make money, it, it's um, a lot of work. It's a lot of work for me just to do this much. Uh, but it's not something that you can count on that it is stable income. I mean, maybe. But I'm not at that point, And I don't need to be at that point if I can get my part-time job. You know, where I get to go out and see actual people... And that would be perfectly fine, so this is just something that I do for fun, for education, because there are some videos about like mental health stuff, uh, how to help mental health recovery, because that was the one before. If you haven't checked that one out, you know, check it out. It's, um, I, I really tried hard to get a proper information in that one, so with all that, I want to thank every single one of you, and have a great rest of the week.